Hello everybody, I'm Charlie and today I'm going to be showing you how to make my fried catfish, my baked macaroni, green peas, and potato salad. Very simple, easy dish to make, not hard. Just have to follow it step by step and that's it. So, without further ado, let's get started, shall we? Okay, this is all what you're going to need to make your fried catfish, baked macaroni, green peas, and potato salad. We're going to get started with our ingredients. Okay, you're going to need um, one and a half pounds. That's about four uh, domestic catfish fillets. This is not imported or anything. This is local catfish. And along with that, you're going to need some um, either some fish fry or you can make your own type of uh, batter for your uh, fry your catfish in. And you're also going to need some eggs. Now for your baked macaroni, um, you're going to need you're going to need some elbow macaroni, um, Velveeta cheese. Um, it doesn't matter which cheese you use for this recipe. You can also use the um, real cheese, the cheddar cheese. But um, to make things more easier, I want to use the Velveeta cheese, okay? And uh, you also with that, you'll need some butter, some salt, and some heavy whipping cream. And for your green peas, here we have two cans of uh, green peas here. And for your potato salad, you're going to need one potato, one onion, some celery, mayonnaise, and some mustard. And for our seasonings, now this is um, three different seasonings that we're going to be using in this food here. Um, we're going to need some uh, Tony Chacheray's Creole seasoning, some Chef Paul Proudhon's Portrait Magic, and Seafood Magic. Okay, so that's all the seasonings we're going to be using in this recipe. Okay? And there we have it. Okay, here I have our catfish. I'm going to go ahead and take it out the bag and show you. It's a nice size catfish fillet. And what we're going to do is... Okay, we're going to go ahead and rinse our catfish off with cold water. Make sure you rinse it thoroughly. Okay, now it's time to season and marinate our catfish. Now here I have a large bowl. And what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and add a little squeeze of lemon in there. I'm going to squeeze a little bit of lemon juice in there. Okay. And to that we're going to add a little bit of a uh, Tony Sacheray's Creole seasoning. We're just going to add that along the bottom. Okay. And to that we're going to go ahead and add our catfish. Go ahead and rub this all around. Make sure it catches the bottom. You just want to spread that all around your catfish. Okay, make sure your catfish is fully coated with this mixture. Okay, we got our fish um, nice and coated here. And uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and marinate this. Now you can marinate this up to about one to two hours. I like mine to be marinated overnight. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and put a cover on this and put this into the refrigerator. Okay, for our seasoning, we're going to go ahead and chop up one onion. I'm going to rinse your celery off and chop that up. And there you have it. And we're going to get started with our baked macaroni. You're going to preheat your fire to medium-high heat. Okay, so on a large pot with some water, we're going to go ahead and add one 16-ounce pack of elbow macaroni. Okay, and we're going to go ahead and mix that in. And this should take about 8 to 9 minutes to cook to the... Um, texture that we want. So we're going to go ahead and put a lid on that and get started with our potato salad. So we're going to go ahead and preheat our fire to medium high heat. Okay in a large pot here with some water we're going to go ahead and add one russet potato. And we're going to go ahead and add two eggs to that. And 
we're going to go ahead and cook this for about an hour but our eggs after 30 minutes we're going to go ahead and uh, remove our eggs I'm going to go ahead and put a lid on top and let that cook okay it's been about eight minutes now for our elbow macaroni and as you can see it is thoroughly cooked we're going to go ahead and uh, turn our fire off and we're going to go ahead and uh, drain our macaroni okay now we're going to go ahead and uh, rinse this off with cold water All right, we're going to go ahead, once we're finished with that, we're going to go ahead and set it on top of our pot, put a lid on top, and let it sit. Okay, it's been about 30 minutes for our potato salad. Our eggs should be done. So we're going to go ahead and remove our eggs. Okay, we're going to set that aside. Now as for our potato, our potato is not um, quite done yet, it's still pretty hard, so we're going to let that sit for an additional 40 minutes and we'll come back when it's done. Okay, it's been about 40 minutes now. Potato should be done. I'm going to check it and see. Oh yeah, it's done. Oh yeah. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to uh, remove our potato. Put it in a large bowl here okay and we're going to let this cool completely and while that's gone we're going to go ahead and get started with our cheese sauce we're going to preheat our fire to medium low heat okay so in a medium sized pot we're going to go ahead and add one 16 ounce carton of heavy whipping cream we're going to go ahead and add that in there And to that, we're going to go ahead and add about three tablespoons of butter. And we're also going to add some salt. Just a little pinch, not too much. It's a small amount of salt. And we're going to go ahead and mix that in. And we want to, what we want to achieve is we want our butter to melt and our cream to get hot. Okay, our butter has melted and our cream is hot. Now it's time to go ahead and add our cheese. So you're going to add one 16 ounce thing of cheese. Okay, and what we're going to do is we're going to mix this in. Now what we want to achieve is we want a nice creamy cheese sauce, okay? So you want to stir this um, in between three minute intervals. You want to stir, wait, stir, wait, and stir. Okay, and this is what it looks like. After a few minutes, there's our cheese. Nice, smooth, creamy consistency. Exactly what we want. Okay, we're going to preheat our oven to 400 degrees. Okay, here I have a glass pan with a um, piece of butter in there. We're going to go ahead and uh, butter the entire bottom and sides of the pan. So you're going to make sure you spread that all around. Okay, now that we have that nice and buttered, now we're going to go ahead and add our elbow macaroni right into there. All right, now we got that added in there. Make sure it's uh, even and straightened out. You can see we have a little bit more left over, but that's all right. All right, now that we got that nice and even, now we're going to go ahead and add our cheese sauce right on top.
Okay, to make sure that we um, everything is mixed in well together, we're going to go ahead and take our spoon and we're just going to fold this in to kind of catch some of the ends. Make sure the cheese is all over. And there we have it. I'm going to go ahead and give you a spoon to show you how creamy it is. Okay, look how that looks. Now it's ready to get put in the oven. So we're going to go ahead and put this into a preheated 400 degree oven on a bottom rack. And we're going to bake that for about 35 minutes. Okay, you're going to preheat your fire to medium high heat. For our green peas, we're going to add two cans of green peas. Along with that, we're going to add our butter, our sugar, and our onion. And we're going to mix that in. And we're going to put a lid on top and let it sit for five minutes. Okay, it's been simmering for five minutes. And there you have it. Green peas. Okay, now our potato has completely cooled. Here I am uh, peeling a potato using a knife. All right, now that we got that nice and peeled, go ahead and set that aside. I'm going to go ahead and uh, peel the shell off our eggs. And that's how it looks. Now to make sure all the shell is off, we're going to go ahead and rinse our eggs off with cold water. Okay, now that we have our potato nice and ready, we're going to go ahead and uh, smash that up using a large spoon. You can use a potato masher if you like. Okay, now that we have our potatoes nice and mashed up, we're going to go ahead and uh, add our eggs. Now, I like to grate my eggs. Some people like to cut, but I like to grate mine. So we're going to go ahead and uh, grate that right on in. All right, and there you go. And that's what it looks like once I'm finished. Ta-da! Okay, I'm going to go ahead and add some seasoning. We're going to go ahead and add some onion. And we're also going to go ahead and add some celery. I'm going to go ahead and mix that in. Alright, now as you can see, I added a little bit of my secret ingredient in there. <laughs> now we're going to go ahead and add some mayonnaise. Add as much as you like. And we're going to go ahead and add some mustard to that. Alright, and we're going to go ahead and mix that in until it's nice and creamy. And after mixing it real well, there you have it, homemade potato salad. Yes, yes. Now you can, we're going to go ahead and add some season oil to that. Give it a little bit more flavor. And a little bit of Tony Sacheray's Creole seasoning. Just a little sprinkle. We're going to go ahead and mix that in. And there you have it. Potato salad. Now there's only one way you can store this delicious potato salad. I'm going to go ahead and put a lid on top and put it into the refrigerator. Alright, now it's time to take our baked macaroni out of the oven after baking on 400 for 35 minutes. Go ahead and take that out of there. Oh, look how good that looks. Mm -mm -mm. Give you a close-up shot. 
Look at that. Mm -mm -mm. Look at that. It's still cooking and nice, crackling, bubbly. Mm -mm -mm. Go ahead and give you a spoonful to show you how creamy this is. Guaranteed creaminess. Look at that. Mm -mm -mm. Nothing like creamy macaroni and cheese, baby. Delicious. Now for our fish, we're going to go ahead and take our fish out of the uh, refrigerator. And here we have our oil. We're going to go ahead and preheat our fire to medium-high heat. Okay. Here we have our catfish. Um, we let this catfish uh, marinate overnight. And the marinade consists of lemon juice and a little bit of Creole seasoning. And we just let it sit overnight, that's all. Okay? And you can smell the lemon, you can smell the Creole seasoning. Oh man, it's gonna be good. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and prepare our batter for um, to fry our catfish with. So we're gonna go ahead and push that aside. We're gonna bring in our small bowl. Okay? Here I have three large eggs. We're gonna go ahead and add that in there. And to that, we're going to season it just a little bit, not too much. So we're going to go ahead and add a little bit of Tony Sachery's Creole seasoning. Just a little bit, not too much. Just a little sprinkle. Okay? And what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and mix that in. Alright, now that we got that mixed in, we're going to go ahead and push that on the side. And here we have our uh, seasoned batter here, okay? And we're going to um, add our fish in before we fry it. Now, like I said, you can use cornmeal and flour mixed in together and add seasoning. Or you could just go to the store and save a little time and uh, buy the fish fry if you like, okay? Okay, here we have our grease. It's nice and it's um, hot ready to go and as you can see I have my fire on a uh, medium low heat we had it on high heat for a few minutes to get the grease hot but we don't want to make it too hot because we don't want to burn our fish um, so we're gonna go ahead and get started with the preparation to, for frying our fish okay we're gonna get started with our first catfish fillet here and what we're going to do is okay we're gonna take that and add it into our egg mixture Gonna make sure that's coated real good. I'm gonna go ahead and add our fish into our batter. Shake that up real nice. And we're gonna fry it. Okay, and we're gonna fry our catfish for about three to four minutes until it's a nice golden brown color. Okay, it's been about three to four minutes now. I'm gonna go ahead and remove our catfish. Oh, look how nice and golden brown that is. We're gonna take that and put that onto our serving platter. And there you go. Okay, it's been about another three to four minutes. This is our last piece of catfish here. I'm gonna go ahead and remove that. Oh, look how beautiful that is. Nice golden brown color. We're gonna take that and put that onto our serving platter. And there you have it fried catfish. Go ahead and show you the preview of all the food that I just cooked. Okay, there we go. We have our fried catfish, our big macaroni, our green peas, and our potato salad. I'm going to go ahead and serve up a plate. Who's hungry? I'm going to go ahead and serve a nice little bit of our creamy baked macaroni. Put that right onto our serving plate. Go ahead and get us this nice scoop of green peas. Put that right on top. We have a piece of catfish. Go ahead and take that. Put that onto our serving platter. And last but not least, the potato salad. Add that right on top. And there you go. There you have it fried catfish with baked macaroni, green peas, and potato salad.
okay by starting off with um, trying out the cat. Mm. You can taste the seasoning. You can taste that lemon. Very quick. Go ahead and try the big macaroni. It's nice and creamy. Mm. We're going to try a little bit of the green beans. Mm. Perfect every time. We're going to try the potato salad. Real good, real good. Hey guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Like up, subscribe to my channel so you can enjoy all of my delicious recipes cooked right here in my kitchen. If you have any questions or comments, please post them or you can email me at charliethecookandrews at gmail.com. Until then, take care and I hope you have a blessed day. Bye-bye.